Hey Capricorn, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general love reading for October. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. This is a general love reading, but if it resonates, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload these readings for you, Capricorn. Your bonus extended reading this week is what is your person hiding? What are they not revealing to you? So if you're interested to know what that may be, do check out the bonus extended, okay? All right, so Capricorn, let's see what's going on. Capricorn in love. Clear messages for Capricorn. All right, what is going on with you guys? Give me, um, oh, what's the challenge right now Capricorn is facing in love? What is the challenge that Capricorn is facing in love right now? Clear messages. All right, so we have the magician, okay? So some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. There's something about you trying to manifest something. Now, Capricorn, there's something that you want. There's something that you desire. And the challenge for you guys is to manifest what you want. Be very clear about what you're looking for. Um, set your intentions out to the universe, okay? Now, some of you guys, it could be someone that you're wanting to manifest something with, okay? Maybe you want this person to love you. Maybe you want a commitment with this person. We're going to find out what that could be, okay? There also could be an energy of wanting to recreate a situation here, okay? Maybe there's been some falling out here in a connection and you're wanting to recreate an opportunity between you and a person. All right, the current energy Capricorn, we have the two swords, okay? Two swords. We have the ace of swords in reverse and we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. So something here has not been going in the right direction. There's someone here that maybe you're not talking to right now at this time, Capricorn. Maybe there's been a lack of truth, a lack of clarity, a lack of direction. I feel like maybe you don't know where you stand with this person. This is someone that may have not been honest with how they feel, or there could be something here they're holding back from you. Now, Capricorn, the current energy is for you to make a decision. Make a head of a heart decision as to which direction you want to go. What do you want to do about this? I feel a lot of you guys are in a stale mate right now okay and it's really because um you're having to make a decision because something hasn't been working out there's been a lack of change or a lack of progression okay now give me the recent past the recent past energy for capricorn we have the nine of wands we have the knight of wands in reverse and we have the hermit in reverse i feel the capricorn the recent past a lot of you guys you had to disconnect from someone there's someone that you decided to maybe distance yourself go within there's the energy of you having time to reflect think about something whoever you're dealing with could be a leo a sag and aries i'm getting that you you really tried with this person but this is someone who tends to come in and out of your life capricorn this is someone who tends to be very immature um, i'm getting very playful energy very passionate this is someone who um, may kind of may have nothing to offer you but they come in with like games with like childish acts i'm getting this as someone who's been in and out of your life with no direction and i feel like capricorn i feel like you want the exact opposite you're looking for direction you're looking for truth you're wanting to know where is this going and i feel that whoever this person is there's been a lot of challenges there may have been a lot of ups and downs okay this is someone that i'm getting that you don't want to give up on but you maybe you're wanting to manifest something here. Maybe you want some change, right? So let's see what's on your mind, Capricorn, regarding this person, the situation you're dealing with. We have the Seven of Swords, energy of strategizing, the Page of Wands, and we have the Queen of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I really feel that, Capricorn, this is about you wanting a new direction, right? The Page of Wands, we talked about you guys being inspired for something new regarding this connection. Something hasn't been working out, right? There's the energy of you strategizing. What can I do better? How can I move this connection forward? What can I do for my person, right? Um, how can I support them? Right? So a lot of you guys, you may want to emotionally support them. Say, hey, I'm here for you. I know you can't do this right now, but how can I help you so that I can meet you halfway? Okay? In order to move things in a new direction, a new path. Let's see what's going on in the foundation, what you're not aware of, Capricorn. What's in the foundation? The hangman, the eight of cups, the five of cups, and we have the four wands in reverse. So I feel like this is someone here who lacks stability in their life. I'm getting that this is someone who may not be where they want right now. They're out of alignment with themselves. And it could be a reason why someone here is emotionally distancing himself from you, Capricorn. 
I feel like things have been sucked because honestly, this is someone who has been keeping themselves in some kind of suspension. I feel like there has been no activity. Maybe there's been no movement. There's been no change. There's been no communication from this person. I feel like this is someone who's really disappointed, okay, in something here. There is that five of cups energy. Regrets, remorse, feeling like, you know, I let you down, Capricorn. I know you deserve better. I feel like this is someone who definitely, I feel like they want to be there for you. Okay, but I'm getting that there there's something here that's going on within their own home or um, personal life that may be affecting their ability to move forward with you. Now, some of you guys are having to walk away from another situation in order to come to you. There may be something they're having to walk away emotionally, disconnect, detach, recover from, let go in order for them to bring balance in their life, in order for them to give to you in a more balanced way. All right, so let me see what the outcome looks like here. Capricorn, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. And we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's definitely a beginning that wants to happen here. But it's almost like there's a delay or it just can't happen just yet. We're going to find out what that is. But it does look like whoever this person is, Capricorn, you associate them with your happiness. You associate them with you, this feel-good energy. Okay, you're associating them with someone who really does make you happy. So I feel like there could be an energy or um, effort Okay, I'm getting that you're still committed to this person in some way. And I feel like the challenge is to see, well, can we manifest this new beginning? Ace of Wands in reverse, right, with the magician. So let's get some more clarity for you guys, Capricorn. If this is your reading, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. Let's see what is going on with the um, the magician, right? The challenge for you guys right now is to manifest the magician, maybe recreate. Again, the bonus reading is up on Vimeo. What is this person hiding from you? So if you're interested, check that out. Why is the Magician card here? We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys, in order to manifest this with this person, it's telling me that you have to find out more information. You have to get more clear on something. You may have to ask more questions. There may be something here that is hidden from you. In order to manifest this, you have to also get on the same page with this person. There's something I'm getting... <laughs> Something that is really causing a division or something here where you're just not agreeing on with this person. It's almost like you and this person do not see eye to eye. Okay? So in order to manifest this with this person, there's something about you guys getting on the same page. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Some of you guys are not talking to this person. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? We have the Devil and a Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone here wasn't happy. I feel like someone isn't happy with themselves. I think this is your person, Capricorn. Um... You know, this is your energy as well. But someone isn't happy with themselves. Someone feels, um, I'm getting down emotionally in this really down state energy, depressive energy. I'm seeing someone's definitely in their emotions right now. And that could be why they're pulling away. That could be why they're not speaking. They're not communicating. The devil can be some kind of toxic thread or tie that someone has to a situation. And it's regarding their emotional um, well-being. Now, let me see what this... To a sword. There is a head of a heart decision that you're having to make, Capricorn. What's this about? It could be regarding something not moving in the right direction. Two swords is clarified by the moon in reverse, the page of wands with the king of wands in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. There's something here that is being revealed. In the current energy, there could be a secret coming out in the open Capricorn, something that you had no idea about, something that your person may have been holding back from you. I'm also seeing that there's an energy of someone overcoming or letting go their fears, their doubts, their insecurities about a situation, about a new beginning, okay, about moving things in a different direction. I feel like whoever this person is, Capricorn, um, I do think they were in their head about this connection. I feel like this is someone who, instead of taking the right action or instead of you know, this is someone who, who who didn't take the right action. And I feel that it's because they were in their head about something. The two swords indicating of some conflict here. Um, it could have been, again, fears, insecurities that they may have. And that may have kept this person from not moving forward with you, Capricorn, okay? There's something about this person's... Um, I'm getting that there's some serious I'm getting self-esteem, confidence issues, insecurities this person has regarding moving forward with you. And that could be creating this Wheel of Fortune verse. That's what's not allowing this situation, this relationship to move forward, okay? So, and it could be the devil. There may be something they're having to work on. Now, in a recent past, I want to find out what this Hermit is about. A lot of you guys, you had to disconnect from someone, go within. There's something here that you had to find answers about. Why is the Hermit? It could be a Virgo. 
The Hermit is clarified by the King of Cups in verse, the Queen of Wands in verse, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel a lot of you guys, you had to disconnect from someone. Not because you didn't love them and care about them, but it's, it's telling me that you feel you were not getting the love that you deserved from them. You felt like they were not taking the right action towards you. You felt abandoned. You felt like there was a disconnect. You felt this person wasn't showing you the attention. They weren't putting enough effort and you felt, you felt alone. Let's be honest, that lonesome energy with the five of pentacles, you felt alone. You felt deprived of love. And I feel like this is someone that you didn't want to give up on. I feel like the nine of wands is you persevering, giving it your every last, um, energy to this but i feel like whoever this person was this is someone who was very inconsistent why is the knight of wands in reverse the eight of wands the ace of wands in reverse and the six of cups i feel like there was a lot of um confusion here because i'm getting a capricorn i'm getting when your person wanted you they showed you they showered you with all these um sweet thoughts and heartfelt emotions and um love and they they sent you flowers and they treated you very good and they kissed you and they were affectionate and loving they were all these things but then all of a sudden they stopped I'm getting the energy that this person was either <laughs> hot or cold. I'm getting that, you know, it was like you guys came together and it was sweet. It was very beautiful. It was loving. And then all of a sudden this person stopped showing up. They stopped reaching out. They stopped communicating. And you didn't know why. So I feel like there could have been some communication that came in very quickly um, regarding this person not being able to move forward all of a sudden, but then they came back like I'm getting many days later to have a reconciliation with you. So this is definitely someone who's been in and out of your life, Capricorn. I mean, there's no denying that this is some, some kind of strong soul tie. There's some kind of soul tie that you have to this person, okay? Now, let me see what's going on with the Seven of Swords. A lot of you guys are trying to strategize your next steps. Page of Wands, you're trying to head in a new direction. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about. Seven of Swords is clarified by the world, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys are trying to determine how to move forward because you also don't want to keep investing and giving to a situation here where you're giving it your, your all, right? Your all. You are um, over investing in a situation that is not bringing you any form of stability. That is not your goal, right? <laughs> the Four of Wands in reverse, you feel this person. Um, may not be able to give you the stability and the commitment that maybe you're looking for because the four wands about coming together, union, harmony, family, memories. And I feel a lot of you guys, you feel like you've been investing, but you haven't been getting the balance. The, the You haven't been getting the same energy from this person. So a lot of you guys are trying to decipher. You're trying to strategize on how to move forward. I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. You do. The tower in the Harfat verse, but at the same time, you know this is this is something you're trying to avoid, okay? An ending where there's just there's no commitment, right? There's no stability. There's chaos, right? There's a, some kind of betrayal. You don't want to go through this. So I think a lot of you guys are getting some kind of wake up that maybe you have to head in a new direction with the Page of Wands. Some of you guys, you have a Taurus. You're dealing with the or a um. Uh, a Scorpio, okay? Now, let me see what's going on with your person. Why are they in hangman? I need to figure out why they're in this suspension energy. They're not really moving much. Uh, why is the hangman here for Capricorn's person? Um, the King of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. Why are all these pages here? It's like your person is giving you bare minimum. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this is someone who... It's like they don't want you to get away, but they're not doing anything to keep you staying because they're giving you this page of pentacles energy, the page of swords, they're keeping an eye on you while, you know, they're they're kind of keeping themselves a distance from you. It's like they don't want to claim you. They don't want to say, okay, Capricorn, let's do this. It's being you and that's it. But it's like they don't they don't want anyone else to have you either. So that's why we have this suspension energy. They're keeping you in this hangman energy as well, where there's no movement, there's no change. It could be a Pisces. I feel like this is someone who is still emotionally connected to another situation and that may be something they're having to walk away from. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, someone here hasn't closed out a past cycle. I feel like there's something that this person has to make right in their life. There could be some imbalances or some kind of, I'm getting a commitment or marriage or some kind of divorce that they were in. There's some kind of regrets about a past situation here and I feel like that is keeping them from coming towards you and giving to you on the emotional end. I feel Capricorn, whoever this person is, could be a Libra. I see that they're having to walk away from a situation here where maybe things weren't 
it didn't go in their favor. It didn't go the way they wanted. It didn't, you know, it didn't work out to their benefit in some way. And there's a lot of sadness, okay? And I think that is something that your person's having to walk away from if they want to come together with you. Because the four wands in reverse, there's something about their home life, domestic, there's some kind of domestic disharmony, or there's something here in their life that hasn't gone, again, the way that they envision. It could be in a past relationship or some kind of marriage here. And they're not over it. So when they come to you, I feel like this is someone who may have some hesitancy or reservations about coming to you with a real commitment. Now, we do have your energy. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in verse with the Ten of Pentacles in verse. Someone here, Capricorn, you're dealing with has the ability to love you, but they're not in this energy where they can honestly open up their heart to you right now. There's something going on in their home life, their personal life. There's a lack of stability in life. There's something here where maybe they're just not ready for a commitment. They're just not ready. And it has nothing to do with you. So as much as you guys want this new beginning, as much as you see happiness with each other, I feel like Capricorn, you're the only one keep coming out with this pentacle energy. I feel like you, you've met someone that you really love and you see a lot of potential here. But I just don't think this is someone who right now is, is a time and, and right now they're not ready to move forward with you. Okay, I'm getting like the right person, wrong time. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse here? I feel like this is um, the full card, the high priestess in reverse with the nine of pentacles. There's something here that could be revealed. There could be some kind of secret. Some of you guys, you may be finding out something here. And whatever you're finding out, I feel like it's regarding an opportunity here between you and this person. Capricorn, I'm getting the sense that there may be an opportunity that um, you guys can come together, but it's telling me that it may not happen right away. I think for the time being that you guys will be working on yourself, the nine of pentacles. There's something about you deciding, you know what, I'm just going to continue to do what I need to do. I'm going to continue to live my life, live my best life, put myself and my needs first. But I do feel it will be an opportunity that will be presented. There may be something that's going to be revealed in the near future. And it's regarding, it could also give you clarity as to why something here wasn't able to move forward when you wanted it. Why something couldn't just get off the ground. Okay? And I think it's really because of this person not being in a space where they need to be, where they can really honestly give to a relationship. Okay? So, this could be an Aries, this could be a Pisces, but that is what I'm seeing, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your bonus reading, What Are They Hiding? It's up on Vimeo for October. Okay? For you. Alright, so Capricorn, I'll check you guys out later. Bye.